we can say that Q3 of 2024 is over. Tuesday, we are starting Q4, the last quarter of 2024, and it's going to be a roller coaster ride. And we are here to get fully prepared with my top stocks to watch for the coming week. Hey there, Tamim from FibonacciTraders.com here with my top stocks watch list from Copangan, Thailand. Like, subscribe, and let's see the charts. Just sit back, relax, and put an alerts. We will start with plug. We have the 230 area, very tough resistance. Just look left, trade right. As you can see, the 230 area was a very important area of support. Then, during August, became very tough resistance. Now, all we need to do is wait for a break and a close above the 230. And as you can see, we already got ourselves the buy signal from the FTI bullish on all time frames no continuation next target is the 250 and then we have this gap at the 292 area we will put here this line to remind us that we have a gap and we know that more than 85 percent of all gaps will get filled it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when next we have sedge solar edge also from the same sector the solar sector we got ourselves the buy signal last friday now all we need to do is see that we can hang above the 2250 area 2260 area the upper border of the yellow zone long continuation and then we will see 24 12 and 26 to the upside which are the next targets for this name and we also have so many gaps to the upside in this name 85% chance of them and 85% of them will get filled we have a gap over here 31 the 32 and the 37 area coin coin base of course last thursday broke above and stayed above this downtrend this downtrend purple trend line from july almost three months two and a half months of a downtrend broke above it now we entered this white uptrend channel long continuation next target is the 196 210 to the upside as long as we're above the 177 area we are good to go long on coinbase crsr corsair gaming of course finally broke above and managed to stay above the upper border of the yellow zone the 660 area very tough resistance in the past two months or so as you can see very tough resistance always train your eyes to look left and then you will be able to trade right long continuation 724 and then this gap at the 770 will get filled ar antero resources corporation what do we see here we have first we have the fti we can put it on our chart one click away and it gives us everything that we need it gives us all the support all the resistance for future price section it gives us the sentiment on all time frames in this case for swing traders and it gives us buy signal sell signal we're still bearish sell signal on the daily it doesn't mean we need to go short it just means that we need to be patient with our long position I'm waiting for a break above the 29, 23, and then we will see 30 and 32 are next targets. ODD. Very nice uptrend in the last three trading days Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all the way to a Fibonacci resistance and trend lines. This is why I always say, not preaching, but saying, this is what works. Once you know, how price acts and reacts to Fibonacci and trend lines. Once you understand that price action follows trend lines and Fibonacci into the future, you will start to see things you never saw before in trading. Now, no continuation above the 39.70 and we will see 42 and 44 are 44 54 
are the next targets S, Y, M, symbiotic, symbiotic. What do we have here? Bullish on three out of four time frames, the four hours, the daily, the weekly. We are above the yellow zone. As long as we are above the 23, if we're already long on this name, we can continue our long. I'm waiting for a break above the 27, and then we will start taking long position towards 29, 33, and then towards this gap at the 35, 44. And when I say we, I mean the Fibonacci traders discord. If you don't want to trade alone, nobody wants to trade alone. It's a ver very difficult job to do. So come join the Fibonacci traders discord. We have trading floor in English for day traders, for swing traders, for crypto, for futures, whatever you want. Also options. Check the links in the description below. Find more educational resources and choose your path together with me, Fibonacci traders, to your financial freedom. Check it out. You won't regret any path that you choose. TRO, T RO price group. T R O W is the ticker bullish, except on the daily. We are waiting for a break above the 111 area. We'll put alert over here so we will not miss it. Always use alerts so you will not miss any trigger or just join the Fibonacci Shaders Discord. If you're looking for the perfect stock screener, I'm your guy. I screen stocks over 900 each and every weekend and through the trading week, I go over those 900 names, more or less, and another one or two times to give you, to my Discord members, the best A-plus setups that I can find. So you won't have to do the dirty job. I'm doing the dirty job for you. TROW, waiting for above the 11, the 111 towards the 113, and then 117 are the next targets. Qualcomm, QCOM is the ticker, of course. I'm still waiting for a break above the 176 area. Look at this area. Very, very tough resistance since beginning of August. Still consolidation up below this area. Mixed signals, bullish, bearish, which means we need to sit and wait. I'm waiting for at least two trading days closing above the 177, one, why two at least? Because one candle does not change the overall sentiment and the overall sentiment for now is that the 177 area is a very, very difficult area of resistance. Only two trading days above it will give me the confirmation with the highest probability that Qualcomm broke above it and Qualcomm is heading north to the 189 and then to the 209 area closing this gap above it wix wix of course same as qualcomm we have here a very tough area of resistance the 173 area very tough area of resistance same as qualcomm i'm waiting for at least two trading days closing above and hanging above the 173 area and then we can start taking long position on weeks towards 179 186 will be the next targets on this name AAOI back on my list three out of four time frames are bearish but once again this name is going to retest this trend line the uptrend line that holds the higher lows since August every time this trend line held price will it hold once again no one knows. I'm waiting and I'm preparing for both sides. Short, below the 13 area, maybe even below. I will wait for a break below the 12 area. And then we can start taking short position on this name. Back to the 11 and lower to the 9. Long continuation. Long entry. I will look for a bounce of this yellow trend line, same as we had over here. So always prepare for both sides because no one knows, no one knows what will happen next. But 
with the FTI, with identifying where price came from. And once you put the FTI, it is the Google Translate for this universal language of price action. This is the best tool. It's not an indicator. It's a tool that helps me and helps many others, dozens of traders, to translate price action with up to 85% accuracy where price might be heading next. Look at BEN, Franklin Resources. 21 is a very tough area of resistance. 2060, very important area of support. We are three out of four time frames on the bearish side. Below the 2060, we will see 2030. Below 2030, we will start taking short position towards the 1975 and maybe 19 to the downside. But always prepare for both sides. You see this candle, this candle, everything that follows, almost everything is an inside candle of this candle. Breaking above the 2110, we will see 2170 and 2245 to the upside. Next we have SS. TK. And if you're still here, probably you like what you see, you like what you hear, and you like this information. Just hit the subscribe, the like, and check the links in the description below. Let's grow this channel together. Let's become the biggest, it's already one of the best channels for trading, technical analysis, and setups. Let's make it bigger so more and more traders can find these setups and become professional and consistent profitable traders. Let's grow this channel together. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and of course, only if you want, share with friends. 3680 on SSTK, Shutterstock, very tough resistance. Put an alert, wait for a break. Once again, at least two trading days, closing above the 36.80, and then we can start taking long position towards 38, 39, 50, and who knows, 44 also might incoming. BLD, top build corporation, 420 area, very tough resistance area. We are still mixed signal from the FTI. All we need to do is put an alert above the 420, and then we will go north, 438 and then closing this gap at the 446. HII, Huntington Ingalls Industries. What do we have here? Let's take the FTI to the upside. We are bearish on the daily, bearish on the weekly, but we have here some kind of a potential of a double bottom scenario. All we need to do is wait for a break above and inside the yellow zone, above the 266 area, and then we can start taking slowly, slowly, long on this name, towards the 273, and once the 273 will break to the upside, we will add to this already winning position towards 278 and 285. For more educational resources, just check the links in the description below. And if you find it helpful, educational, like, subscribe. And until the next video, stay safe.